Hello, what's up? No excuses, ladies. This is Eva Eckert, and this is a No Excuses show, episode number 53. 53, more than 53 weeks. Now, are you the person that is looking to receive more discipline, to achieve more confidence in your life and better energy so you can stop making the excuses and really take charge in your life? If this is you, that's that's the show is for you. So the show is for anyone, anyone who has been a badass or who has, who is looking to become a badass in real life. And I'm sharing uh, my real life experiences in this show so to show you that it's all possible, that it can be you that achieve the congruency in your life and become happier and healthier. Uh, and and with covering three areas of your life, literally, it's mind, body and business. And that's what our new courses are all about. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about really how to receive help. And I see you guys logging in. Thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much for being here, for giving me your time and listening to what I have to say to you or, or what I can share with you. Now, you can totally take some notes and uh, any insights you have from this show, it's always beneficial. This is like I can say to you, like me, when I read my books, I take the insights, I take notes. And a lot of you ask me questions like, how is this all flow? How do we get all these ideas? Well, from constantly doing the personal development, that's number one. But how can you receive help in today's world? So today is going to be a little bit different episode. No notes of any kind, just straight through from the bottom of my heart. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for joining. So I, I see you guys are logging in. I know that you're busy. I know that our lives is busy. But my mission with, with any kind of show or any kind of message that I have for you, either is here with me, uh, Eva Eckert, or with the Russian and the Freak show, and any other shows that we're doing, either it's Steve by himself, or if you join any kind of online courses, it's all us helping you to educate you and give you the tools so you can become a more disciplined person. Guys, everything that I have achieved in my life, it was through constant discipline, constant creation of habits, and not giving up and not giving a fuck what other things. Not to say don't take the feedback. I'm not saying this because that would be a horrible ego. Take the e feedback, but also you need to find the you need to find the left side and the right side. You need to kind of embrace you with the feedback that you're getting and also understand, okay, where is that that you coming from? Is it coming from the ego point of view? Is this person is trying to discourage me? Or this person is trying to help me? Because environment can discourage you. People can discourage you. Situations can discourage you. There are so many different triggers in life that can cause you feeling the way how you feel. But with everything that is going on, what I've been seeing in some clients and some people that I coach, that people start pausing again. Guys, we've been on a pause for two years. I, I, I mean, look what happens. Look what happened with the situation with COVID. People stopped what they were doing. People forgotten their purpose, their mission. People forgotten what their really life is all about. But the reason they paused is because they allowed the outside circumstances and just life circumstances and everything was going around them to stop them. And we get these messages constantly. How is that me and freak? How is that we constantly going? We're constantly vibrant. We're constantly having great ideas and good messages. And I'm not saying this to impress you in any way, but more to inspire you that life keeps on going. The time is ticking. What's been an hour ago, it will never go back. We can't go back to that situation. So you need to take charge of your life and you need to feel good about your life. You need to feel happy because with this, everything that is going on, if you allow this outside circumstances bring you down, it will slow you down. You will come back into a shelf instead of doing what you can do. What can we do about the situation? What is that that you can do personally? Then do it. 
and 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 do and help others but then also also help yourself and don't be frozen don't freeze up again because that's a con i see this constantly happening and why i decided to do this episode is because recently we have been such a breakthroughs in with our business and Again, people ask us, where do you take find the time to do this? Where do you have time to run f- five businesses? It all comes down to habits and disciplines, to have a re- routine, to have an energy in the morning, to get up with a purpose and passion. Because wh- wh- I can't just imagine that so many of you get up in the morning and you feel already drained and tired. You don't want to even go to your work. You think about all these things that's going to be happening and you're not happy. Then you got to evaluate the situation. You got to think, okay, if this job is draining me down, if I'm not happy, I don't want to be there, then change your life. Then change your job. Then get out of this place and do what you intend to do. You got to connect to your intuition. But how are you going to do this? How can you do this? By placing the practices and the disciplines from early in the morning. So starting your day the right way, getting up with energy, feeling that you can accomplish something, having the morning mantra, morning routine, what are you eating, and being on the schedule, not let, not opening up the phone and checking messages and scrolling down through Instagram, scrolling down through Facebook, you know, people ask me all the time. Thank you guys for joining and, and, and logging in. People ask me all the time. You don't know this person text and this person post. I said, no, I don't. And I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I need to know what I need to know that will help my community, my people, that I give them the best possible message. And what I can do to better myself in the business, how we can scale, what we can do. That's the message. And that's what the message I wanted to tell you. You don't need to know it all. You don't need to do it all. You just need to do what you intend to do in this world. And everybody, I always say that we are here on this earth to spread our wings. Because that's what you have. Those those invisible wings that it's your intuition. It's that power that you have to change things. It's this amazing ability to do things. To use your talents. To do something that not only you gonna benefit, but others. And coming out out of the service, so connecting to you. How are you gonna do this? When you have the practices, the habits, the routines in place. And that's what I wanted to tell you today, that how can you get help? You can get help from mentors. You can get help help from people that are inspiring, uh, inspiring you or you feel inspiration from them, right? And that's why we created these online courses for you to get the best out of everything. We have the freak freedom, how you're going to create the mastery of your freedom, how you're going to learn about the Nutrition 360 so you no longer need to go through effect yo-yo, lose weight, gain weight, understanding what it takes the whole 360 view of life that will help you in all these different situations that you've been going through and always battling the, the weight loss. That's why we created this courses. We created 40-day habit challenge. The habits unlock every single day. And as you go, as you do them, you need to actually, and the way how it's designed, that once you accomplish one, one habit, the next habit opens up, but you need to do the habit from the previous day. Because that's the only way that you're going to repeat, uh, learn habits by repetition. And don't mind me. I make a lot of mistakes when I speak. English is not my second, English is my second language, not my first language. My first language is Polish. I speak fluent Polish and my kids speak fluent Polish. Why? Because I was consistent. I was very uh, dedicated. I put the time and I constantly was doing things and that's the result. So consistency. And consistency will be built when you have these tools, when you have these things that, okay, this is what I need to do. This is how I need to do. And that's what a good mentor, good coach will show you and give you. And once the tools are there in place, then once you learn the basics, then you can start moving things around. But in the beginning, it should be very simple. It should be, nothing should be complicated. 
and you should just follow them every day. That's why we did the 40 day habits challenge for you. So you have the most important lessons about mind, body and business in this 40 day challenge. So if you've done it, please make some comments. If you have not done it yet, uh, I hi Pam, I see I see Kiris, I see a bunch of you here. Guys, this is a breakthrough. This is really a breakthrough. What awesome is that once you're gonna have them, you're gonna you're gonna powerfully move through the life, powerfully move through day, and that's what it's all about. I'm here to inspire you and you to tell you that. Every single person, every single one of you is unique. And I always tell this uniqueness. There is no other person in this life that went through the, the experiences that you had, the family that you were raised, the situations you've been through. So unique. Use those gifts. Use them and use what's been given to you as a talent. And stay with it, stick with it. And then once you're going to do this, life will not feel like work. It will feel like things that are just falling into the right place. And that's what always feels for me. Always was feeling for me when I was teaching the sessions, when I was coach on the floor. Then from coaching and training people in boot camp, in our uh, two locations of boot camp and boxing facilities, when I was talking to clients, when I was giving them uh, educational uh, um, uh, ideas on how to lose the weight when I was training them on the floor that was passion that was creativity it was always because I was putting heart into it because uh, uh, realize that when you connect to your purpose your mission you become very creative you become something some people will never experience this in life and because they doing things they're not supposed to be doing they spending time on things that are not fulfilling them and reach the master of creativity. It's an amazing feeling. And I've done it many times over and over again because I, I ended up there and I wish you, I wish for you to get there. But the only way that you can do it is mastering the habits, the disciplines, avoidance of destruction, being very diligent in your work and scheduling your day. That's how you're going to control what's controllable and move forward with life. That's the only way. And I can give you, an, I can, you know, going back to a few years ago when we have the boot camp and boxing facility, from being a coach on the floor, I moved to being coached for other coaches. I was coaching them to be a copy of me and Steve. And that's what we did. And that's why the business was successful. There were tools and plans input in exactly in the in the whole process of, uh, of, of training people. And you will be able to do that too eventually. But you need to start from somewhere. Creating these habits and disciplines. And so many of the people have struggled. They've struggled. That's why people come for coaching with me. That's why I coach them in life situations. That's why we spend, uh, you know, either half an hour and an hour a weekly. Some people come and show up on literally a whole day long of coaching to lead them through, to ask them questions that nobody would ask them, to ask difficult questions that nobody would ask. So they start thinking in a different level. Because a very deep question will cause you a very deep connection to you. And that's what it's all about. So from doing this as a coach and, 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 and on the floor, I went, I found the passion coach and coaches. Because that was another level. And that's receiving the mastery. That is, that's achieving the mastery. But it took me years to do that. But people are impatient, and I see this constantly, impatience in what they do. They want it now, or they give up. It's the worst, I would say, not even habit. It's the worst attitude of life that you can have when you're just impatient. You just don't want to be patient to do something. Patience, re doing the same thing over and over again, it's going to create that habit and the discipline. And then you kind of go on autopilot. And it's a great thing. Because in the morning, I don't need to uh, search for food and think in front of the fridge what I'm going to be eating. 
It's the same thing. I just change the flavor. I drink herbal life. I drink other, uh, you know, my herbal tea concentrate. I have my aloe. I have my greens. I have my shake in the morning. I don't need to double think. I don't need to waste my time on this. And those are habits. Those are disciplines that you're going to do. And that's what's going to give you an amazing result. So during the past few months, I've been working so hard on creating a new company. And I created a new company called Freak Code. And the Freak Code is a, a, a clothing line. It was always my passion. My passion was always like, I love to dress up. I loved clothing. I, I did some, uh, an amazing Brazilian uh, clothing that we've been creating in Brazil a few years ago. But uh, that was just one-time collection. Our clients were wearing it. Everybody loved it. And I thought just a few months ago, I'm like, okay, now it's the time to create something more than just a clothing. It's creating a community, creating something that will have be a representation of what you stand for. Hi, Carolyn. I see Jolene. Representation of the Freak Code. And that's our family. So in the clothing light on the Freak Code, you're going to find not only a matching clothes for you, for your husband, for your kids, that your whole family can wear it. But you're going to feel like, yes, I'm ready to work out. Hi, Diane. You see, I don't even see everybody logging in here. So I don't know. These systems work so weird. So you see, I don't know everything. I just don't know a lot of things. But I concentrate on these, on these things that really are most important for me. So the Freak Code Collection has a message for you to be your own awesome freak self superhero, to spread the invisible wings that you have, that intuition, that drive, that passion, that you, you being you, and use it in life. And as a, as a family of four, just getting dressed the same way, it kind of feels awesome. It gives us that sense of energy and feeling united. And that's what the Freak Code clothing line is all about. Plus, every single, every single clothing, every single piece comes with a link for your workouts. So there is no excuses not to do the workout. <laughs> What's a freak? Always a freak. I will always consider myself a peak freak. Yes. And you are, Diane. And you are. And I miss you all dearly, guys. All of you who have been in... in at, at the gym, all of you who showed up, all of you who've been a part of Peak, it was absolutely amazing journey. But now, because the facilities no longer exist in person, we created the community online with the online mindset courses. It's different. The workouts for you are non-negotiable. The workouts, you can do them following the freak workouts, but the, the courses are all about mindset, all about planning. I'm right now working on a planner slash journaling, more like a journaling than planner. Because planners are so not in details oriented. I want you, before you're going to get into the journaling, I want you to do your homework. And that's what I'm working on right now. It's going to be released very soon. So stay tuned for this along with the habits and disciplines and Nutrition 360 course. All of it going to put, like once you're going to do this, you're going to have a sense of belonging to the community. You can be active. You can post questions. You can post your comments. You can be connected to us. It's there for you. It's there for you. But the workouts are non-negotiable. The workouts is something you can go to the gym and work out or you can follow us on our pla online platform. It's a platform when you have your daily workouts planned. And I know that so many of you wants the community of a workout, but you, you just do it in front of the screen, take it to the gym, and that's it. The other community have been, uh, have been in growth right now. So that's the phase that we're doing right now. But going back to the clothing, the clothing it represents the freak code, non-negotiable, being your own freak self and representing the code and the decaf, which is discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. Those are five basic things that once you're going to embrace it and you're going to love what you feel, then you can wear the clothes. 
from leggings to tops to swimsuits to just workout bras to hoodies it's all connected however you want to put it together it will always match however you want to put it together with your husband it will always match that's the beauty of this collection that's the beauty of free code in general so so go ahead check those sites i'm gonna post in the links below i have to post it i think on a freak freak site a freak code that that site here on instagram because once the life is gone i can post it here i can post it for you guys i'm also gonna post the courses the courses are a breakthrough in so many people's life because you need i actually need my glasses here you go look this is what i need and i'm gonna post the uh, discipline challenge course. there is a bunch of different ones on instagram you can click in my bio and you the platform will open up for you for the courses. Why I think that you should do this. It's different versus reading just a book. Because book you can read or you might not read. You might not be at that stage to even read a book because you are so overwhelmed and you scattered all over the place. But if you do the 40 day challenge, every lesson will open up for you daily and you're gonna be like, okay, now I have to do that homework. It might take you 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But it's learning, guys. We need to spend 20 to 30 minutes in personal development to change your life. You will never access a different level if you're not going to do personal de development. It's Because why? In books, in, in, in when you train with mentor, when you have someone that leads you and guides you, there is a knowledge. And we should... Even Leonardo da Vinci said that there was... I will, I will read that to you because it appeared in front of my eyes, I think, today. When was it? I have to find this. It was one of the books that he says that it's it's an endless endless way of learning. It's a nonstop. It's the whole life. And when you do these courses, it's all to make yourself better. Why you want to make yourself better? First of all, like some people, do, do, do I come across people that don't want I, I believe that there are few people that just are good where they are. But what kind of life it is. When you don't have any excitement, any stimulation, any challenge, what kind of life it is? You need to be challenged. You should be challenged. And you should feel uncomfortable. That's like with the workouts. The same way. You should feel. And that's the whole point of doing courses. Because daily you're going to learn something new. So again... Uh, a lot of has been happening and it's it's been amazing breakthrough and some of the people submitted <laughs> questions to me how can you start a clothing line not knowing what you're doing i guess that that's the beauty of it guys i came to america not knowing what to expect i saved i saved all my money worked for a year to save money to hop on a plane and flying to a place that i had no clue about that's a challenge. Was I scared? Hell yeah. I was scared. Absolutely. Absolutely I was scared. But you do it anyway. What's stopping you? What's stopping you? And if, if you and, and think about it, the fact that if you're going to just stop and not do it, how is that going to make you feel? That's why clothing line. It's so out of my comfort zone. I have to learn so many things. I have to... Uh, constantly it's like an everyday challenge I come across so many difficult things daily now that when I finish my work my head is burning like I feel the heat coming out of my head that's really how I feel but the the feeling of accomplishment is just beyond ex any expectations beyond anything that anyone there's nothing in this world that would fulfill that when you're going to actually experience that. There is no one in the world that would fulfill what, what that will give you the experience when you're going to get, once you're going to achieve that level of the accomplishment for doing something amazing. Especially if it's connected to serving others and helping others. So that's the whole idea. And that's what I want you to be connected today, to connect to you, to connect to your mission, to find something that you love. 
And that's what we've been doing, you know, coaching, coaching, one oh one coaching clients, many clients, many different people. I concentrate, I have mostly women, Steve has men. And I think that's how I connect, I connect to women. And some people ask me, okay, but I had a coach before and I might not be willing to do it again because I had a bit of experience. Coach to coach is different. Coach is like when you take sessions on the floor, you like the coaching session or you don't. You need to find your connection. You need to be connected to the person. Not with every, the same like with friends. You will never be friends necessarily and be very friendly with everyone. You have those connections. And once you make that connection and you like it, then you can continue with coaching. So again, don't be discouraged just because one experience has been bad. And I've seen this over and over with people. I got burned. I'm not going to do this again. Well, but life is not about this to be burned and to stop. Then you're going to have a lot of different burnouts. And then what are you going to do? Then you're going to stop eventually doing everything? No, you just got to give a chance. You just got to keep on going, trying new things, new relationships and and new things that you want to accomplish and achieve and just keep on going and trying. And and always being with agreeing with your intuition. Intuition is deep. I've allowed my intuition to make a lot of different decisions recently and I feel great. Do I question sometimes? Sure, but if it feels right, I go for it. And that's what I strongly recommend for you to do too. So again, I strongly encourage you guys, even if you do your workout somewhere else, do these courses. They will give you so much knowledge, so much breakthrough. And imagine just this day unfolding, getting up in a better mood, having everything in place that you're supposed to be placed. It's not like I'm going to tell you, okay, at 7 a.m. you need to get up. No, it's based on you. You're going to figure this out. That's on you. But I'm giving you the tools that maybe getting up in the morning is the ideal thing and do certain things. Doing meditation, why we meditate. Because that's the moment that you can truly concentrate on breathing and concentrate on where your thoughts are going. Some of you might think, okay, this is just boring. It's okay. You might not be ready now, but maybe eventually you will be ready. Some of you might think, oh, but eating the same thing for breakfast and lunch might be boring. Okay, but then you're going to waste time on preparing your food and doing other things. So you got to choose. We teach you these tools based on our case studies, based on how we've done it, how our customers and clients have a breakthrough, amazing breakthrough from not only losing weight, because every coaching client will lose weight. Every single one that I've had lost weight and every single one will lose the weight. Every single client will connect to their con to their mission. Every single client will, uh, will start doing what they love to do because we go in deep and we dive in deep and we going through these breakthroughs. And I give you the tools because we've done them ourselves. We wouldn't be here and so successful if we didn't have this on a platter, if we didn't have this mastered a certain way. Do things change? Of course. Do my schedule can change? Of course. Do I, do I need to adjust the schedule? Absolutely. It's not set forever. And that's the whole, you, you got to look at things and change things around. But you're going to have the baseline. You're going to have the foundation. Like a good house has a great foundation, right? That's what you want to feel like. You want to have that good foundation. Once you have that good foundation, everything changes. I've seen too many people. I hear this too much. And it, it, it's, it's, it's really, it's, 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 a, it's a hard thing to hear when people get up and the moment they get up, they don't don't even see the light in a way like they don't feel inspired. They don't have the great, great energy to get up and do things that they're supposed to be doing. They have that negative self-talk. Where is this coming from, guys? It came from someone somewhere at some point told you something and you need to disconnect from this. You need to disconnect from this and learn that we are not our faults. Catching yourself on the bad self-talk and saying, you know what? 
I don't know what it came from, but this is not me. How can you self-talk yourself bad if you are your own best friend? Look in the mirror and say, you know what? You are my best friend. Write it down on the mirror. I'm enough. I am my own best friend. Maybe this will give you some good insight in the morning when you get up. Because like speaking yourself so negatively, so bad, so down. If somebody done this to you in your life, I am very sorry. This is a process of breaking it and it's going to take some time. But coaching definitely will help you. Because coaching is seeing the future in a brighter way. It's not going back and not treating. We are not therapists. It's something different. So, guys, I got to get going. It's time for me. But I wanted to, again, inspire you and suggest you to join our online courses. Check what we have. Go into the site. Purchase some free code clothing. See what the code is. Connect with the code. Get some workouts, go on our YouTube channel, check these workouts and stay more tuned for other things that are coming because life is not stopping. We living the life, so we need to continuously create, okay? And you all have that in you. So don't doubt it. Don't think I gave you an, I gave you an example, clothing <laughs> so far out of my thing. But came out, the quality is just super amazing. Uh, I've done my research. I've done my time. When others party, when others watch movies, I go and I submerge myself with this. And I spend time of it. But you need to feel the passion. If you don't feel the passion, it's not going to be done. So what is your passion? What is your passion? What is What your life is going to look like in three, five, ten years? What growth, what contribution are you going to use? What is going to be? Answer those things. Write them down and let me know. All right, my friends, thank you so much for participating, joining today. No excuses, show 53. Episode 53 was today. Thank you. I appreciate you for you being here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.